Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform the viewer about technology and technology-related topics around the world of virtualization. Tonight's presentation is going to be about setting up Proxmox backup server in a container. So the first thing we're going to do is to make sure that we have a Debian image to use for this. Proxmox is based on Debian and it'll just make the whole process easier if we continue using Debian. So to do that, let's go to local and then go to CT templates. As you can see, I've already downloaded the Debian template. If you don't already have a Debian template, you can click on templates here and you'll get a display of all the available templates. I actually see there's an up-to-date Debian template. Let's go ahead and download that. All right, so now that we have the new Debian template, we can go ahead and start creating our container. Let's click Create CT, and we don't need to give it a name. We could if we wanted. Enter a password. Next. Pick our template. Eight gig disk will be fine for our demonstration. And I believe that you're unable to use disks in a normal fashion as part of the backup server when running in a container. I have not tested this, but I do believe that you need to use a iSCSI or NFS type mount in order to store your files. That'll be for a future video. So we're just gonna leave the eight gig disk for present. CPU, one core will be fine. Memory, they suggest two gigs, but for this demonstration, I'm just gonna leave it at 512. Network, you're going to definitely wanna set up a static IP address. A standard notation for a normal class C network is slash 24. If you don't have a class C network, you'll probably know what your designation is. If you don't know, it's going to probably be slash 24. DNS is okay, confirm, finish. All right, so now that our container has been created, we can go ahead and start it and open the console. Log in with root and the password we set up. Now we need to start by editing the repository list. We're gonna use nano to do that. And the repository list we're going to be editing is at slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list. My notes were laid out a little bit differently. I had a couple of other repositories in there that already appear in this repository list right here, here, and here. So I just went ahead and deleted them out. The only repository that we need to add is this one right here, which this will allow us in a minute to actually use APT to install the Proxmox backup server. So we can press Control X, Y, and Enter. Now we can run an APT update to make sure all the repositories are working correctly and we don't have any error messages. And as you can see, we actually got an error message with the Proxmox repository that we added. And if we look at it, it's talking about that it doesn't have the right key. So let's go ahead and actually add that key. So, Here's the command we're going to use. I'll be sure to attach a full list of these repositories and commands in the comment section of this video, most likely tied to a post on my website, but they'll still be provided. So we're gonna use wget to grab the key, the GPG file from Proxmox, and then we're going to place the GPG file in a folder here. So let's press enter and run that. We see we download it. Now we should be able to run update again. And we find out we have no error messages. With that, we can run 
it's apt install proxmox dash backup dash server. All right, now we can use reboot to reboot our container. So now that our container is up, we can go ahead and view the web interface at https colon slash slash IP address of the container colon port 8000. Seven. Accept this. We log in with root again and the password for the container. Now, the next thing we want to do, under administration, then we're going to want to go to repositories and Make sure that we remove this enterprise repository if we don't have a Proxmox subscription for backup server. If you don't remove it, you're going to get some error messages. Let me show you what that error message would look like. So if I refreshed and tried to look for any updates on the Proxmox server, we get this error message saying that we are unable to connect to the enterprise list and it's an unauthenticated IP address. To fix that message, we go back to repositories. We highlight this enterprise list and hit disable. Now we press reload. And when we go back to the updates and press refresh, you notice we no longer get any error messages. So there you have it. We've created a Proxmox backup server using a Debian container. Now, one last thing that I'd like to mention is that it's not good practice and probably pretty well frowned against in industry to have your backup server on the same server that you're actually looking to backup on. Just would like to mention that. So if you're running this backup server as a container on your Proxmox server, make sure at least your backup files are going to a NAS that isn't attached to your Proxmox server. Just a thought here. But um, there you have it. There's a Proxmox backup server running as a container. If you liked today's video, found it helpful, educational, or just otherwise want to support Virtualize Everything in bringing virtualization content to YouTube, consider checking out our web store at store.virtualizeeverything.com. Also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to help Virtualize Everything continue to grow and bring you more great content, like setting up a Proxmox backup server in a container. As always, have a good night.